We're joined now by Karen Stryer, who has stopped by to talk to us. Thanks, Karen, for stopping by. Oh, thanks. It's great to be here. Now, Karen, you're giving a distinguished lecture this week. Tell us a little bit about, you know, a little preview of what you're going to be talking about. So I'm talking about what variation in primate behavior means. And, you know, if you think about, we look at primate behavior, primates as comparative models for human behavior and in the course of human social evolution. But actually, there's um, a lot more variation within species than um, there's, well, we, we've discovered there's a lot of difference between species. Species behave really differently, and it's you know, hard to figure out what's the best model for humans. But it's also even more complicated by the fact that it's not like each species has um, it's just one kind of behavior. There's a lot of within species variation, and so to understand that how we compare behavior across species, we really need to understand how to compare behavior within species. Now I'm sure your lecture is going to draw on this 32 years of experience you have in uh, researching <laughs> yeah. primate behavior and some interesting monkey behavior as well. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about some of your latest developments and uh, what you've discovered. So yes, of course it draws on some of my own research. In fact, with the, the northern Moriki, which is endemic to the Brazilian Atlantic forest, I've been working with these monkeys for about 32 years now and part of a long-term ongoing study. So that's like more than half my life. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's a long time to know the same animals and a lot of the same individuals are still alive. And this the monkeys turned out to be really different. When I started studying them 32 years ago, our views about primate behavior were really limited to just a small number of species that had been studied in um, largely the apes and then also species like macaques and baboons. People didn't know a lot about the whole range of primate behavior. So the monkeys were this unusual model. They turned out to be really different. They live in these peaceful, egalitarian societies. There's no hierarchy, males don't dominate females, and in fact, um, part of that has consequences for their sex life because they're super promiscuous and you know, females will mate with five or six different males in 10 or 11 minutes and the males just line up and wait for each other. It's completely, they've been called the hippie primates and totally like laid back and they're peaceful. So, so that was a really different model from these males with giant canines that fight each other all the time and dominate females. It, it opens up all kinds of, you know, possibilities. More than half of the world's primates are endangered. You know, they're like at the risk of extinction. And so understanding the patterns, what parts of their behavior they can change mm -hmm. compared to the parts that are really kind of hardcore mm -hmm. um, conservative behaviors that, that they can't really adjust. The parts that are flexible, that's how they buffer themselves between you know, environmental change and, and extinction. Mm -hmm. and so the ability of primates to adjust as their habitats are lost and their populations are decimated and with now with climate change really causing major shifts in the vegetation they depend on, our understanding of how primates can adapt to that starts to become really important to understanding how we can um, help to save them. So I think that's kind of a cohesive story. You're doing much. some fascinating work. It's but really cool. Where can people hear you uh, speak in your lecture this week? When will you be speaking? Um, it's the it's part of this follows the business um, meeting of the biological anthropology section Friday evening. My uh, the cash bar I'm told starts at eight o'clock, so you can get a drink and come with your drink to hear me speak at eight thirty. <laughs> Karen, thank you so <laughs> thank much for you. stopping by. Wish you all the best. Hopefully, another thirty two years of research oh, ahead. Well, thank you. If not me, my students. <laughs> Thanks.